Good afternoon, kids. Welcome to the Crafty Corner with Miss Lisa here at the Fayette County Public Library. Um, I have been so impressed that most of you have come in and got packages of all of our crafts that we've been making, and I will continue to provide those for you. So please either call the library or come in, and you can get packets to take home with you to make the crafts that you see here on this show. Today we are going to make a very cute 3D chair. Now, we've been working on fairy tales in one of our most popular fairy tales, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Chairs are a big part of that story. Well, before we get into that, I just wanted to show you guys a couple other books that we have here at the library because bears are a main character in many books that we have here at the library. Some of them I'm sure you know about. One of the first books that you probably read as a as a toddler is Brown Bear, Brown Bear by Eric Carle. This is just one of the books that we have here, and this one's actually in Spanish. I hope you all have read Corduroy, the little bear who gets lost in a department store because he's looking for his button. Again, come get this if you don't know this story. We all know Pooh Bear. And in this book, Pooh Bear actually does some crafts. I think that's awesome. What about Paddington Bear? Recently, they made a movie out of this. So again, bears are very popular in children's literature. Another book that we all know is the Berenstain Bears. So bears are in literature and they're in our fairy tales. So you all probably know the story of Goldilocks. You know, she was just sort of bored one day and went out for a walk in the woods. She came to this cute little house and when she went inside, she found it was empty because the bear family earlier that morning had made some wonderful porridge, but it was too hot to eat, so they went out for a walk. Goldilocks enters the house and she sees that porridge and she was sort of hungry after her walk and so she ate a little bit of each but one was too hot one was too cold but baby bears was so yummy she ate it all up then she went into the living room didn't she and that's where she saw the chairs a big chair a little chair and a baby chair we all know that one was too hard one was too soft and that poor baby chair just broke to pieces when she sat in it so that's where this craft comes from goldilocks entering the bear's house and going into the living room and seeing the chairs. Now, if you go to the Facebook page for Fayette County Library, you will see a link to the chairs that we're going to make today. You will get three templates. You will get a baby bear chair and a mama bear chair and the daddy bear chair, as well as the little bears that can sit on the chairs. So today I am going to show you how to make the big chair, just as an example. But um, if you follow the link on the Facebook page, you will get all three sizes. Okay, so today we're going to make the big chair. But then we have the mama bear and the baby bear chair as well. To make this craft, you simply need our template. And if you print it out on cardstock, it's going to stand much easier. So if you come get our packages here at the library, they will already be printed for you on cardstock. All right, then you just need some crayons, some scissors, and some glue stick. And I'll show you about the hole punch here in a little bit. The crayons are for coloring the bear. All right, so here's my chair. And if you look over at the chairs I've already made, I haven't made a green chair yet. So I think today we're going to make green. So you're going to want to make sure your markers are nice and juicy, that they're not dried out. And when you color with markers, try to make one nice big bold stroke. That way you don't have a bunch of little lines because those lines show up when you are um, using markers. So this is the top part of the chair that I'm coloring right now. And it is a high back chair with slats in it. So you only need to color between each of those slats. Then the square in the middle is the base where the chair, where, where the bears are going to sit. So again, try to make nice, long, broad strokes and go in one direction. Don't just go all squiggly because it's not going to look as, as neat. Okay. 
Then we have the legs on either side, and this is the legs that are gonna, gonna help hold it all together. So I'm gonna go in this direction because I know this is the legs. And I'm gonna make sure I color the tabs too because they're gonna show. All right, and then this part goes across. All right, now you can be as creative or as dull <laughs> um, as you want with these chairs. The bright, I'm sorry, the brighter the colors, the prettier the chair will be. So I'm almost done coloring this beautiful green color. Again, you could use colored pencils. You could use uh, crayons. You could even paint it if you felt like it. All right, so once it's all colored, if you wanted to, you could draw some squiggles or some polka dots. Oh, and that light green's not going to show up. Let's try some, let's try the teal. We'll try, get some, couple of polka dots. I like polka dots. If you were more artistic, you could draw flowers or a rainbow, whatever you would want. Draw a unicorn or a cat. It's all up to you. Okay, so there's a couple polka dots. Now, here's the tricky part. If you're not good with scissors, boys and girls, get a parent to help you. You are gonna to want to cut on all of the solid lines. Don't cut on those dotted lines. That's where we're going to fold. So we're gonna go ahead and cut on the leg. And cut up around the high back part of the chair. And, and sometimes we like that black outline to show, but probably not today with the chair. So if you can get your scissors right on that black line, you can cut that away and you'll have all the pieces that you need. Okay, when you get down here to the legs, there are a little bit of a slant that you're gonna wanna make sure that you actually cut. Okay, I'm gonna cut up inside here. All right. We are almost all the way around. Cut that off. And then we're going to fold on all of the little dotted lines. There's another diagonal here. All right, got to get up inside these legs still. Okay, over here as well. Now, earlier I said if you had a hole puncher, it would help. Because, oh no, a broke his leg. That's not good. I pulled it too hard, boys and girls. All right, we're going to have to glue that leg together. And it will be okay. So don't fear. You can always fix if you tear something. All right. The, my goodness. All right. So we want to cut out the high back parts of the chair. You want to be able to see the slats. So if you have a hole puncher, you can just punch a hole into each of those slats, which makes it much easier for your scissors to get in there. You could try to press down and make a little hole with your scissors, but you could jab yourself and that would hurt. So a hole puncher is a great way to be able to get, um, get your scissors into that spot to find, um, so that you can have the, the empty space between the slats and the chair. All right, we're almost done with this, and I'll show you how to fold it up and put the chair together. Okay, one more slat. Um, an interesting fact from history, boys and girls, is that the high back chair was invented many, many years ago by, um, I don't know, years and years and years ago. Um, and the pioneers actually had them in their cabins. Well, Benjamin Franklin decided to put rockers on the back of a high bench chair so that you have a rocker. Interesting fact from history. All right, now there are two black solid lines here next to the chair's back, so you're gonna wanna make sure you snip both of those as well. All right, now we just need to fold, and I'm gonna fold the high back part of the chair in 
okay, because that's going to stand up. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn it over, and I'm going to carefully bend where the legs go. So there was a dotted line there, a dotted line on that side, on this one, and over here. So there we have some folds for the dat. And then we still need to finish folding this part. So we're going to fold in here, fold in here, and fold here. Then all we have to do is get all of it together and it will stand up. So you're going to want to have this section is where you're going to want to put your glue stick. We're going to put our glue on this section that I didn't put the polka dots on. We're going to wrap this part of the leg up and over. And it is too long, so we'll need to trim it a little bit. Same thing on this side. You're going to get a little sticky by using all this glue stick, so you may want to have a towel or something around. Okay, so those are the front legs. And then in the back, you can see here, all we have to do is put a little glue here to hold these two flaps together. Probably going to want to hold it for a few seconds. And then your chair will be able to stand. Whoops, I am sorry. I didn't hold it long enough, boys and girls. Make sure you hold it long enough. I suppose if you have a little bit of tape around, that might be a good way of making sure that that part stays together. All right, this leg's a little weak because of where I tore it. But then there is your chair. Now the rest of this project is with the bears. And I'm not gonna take all my time today to color all this, but you will color all of your little bears. And let me just show you Mama Bear. We're gonna cut Mama Bear out after you've colored it. And I used crayons on mine. And so we're going to just cut out each of these little bears like that. Remember, we cut on the solid lines and we fold on the dotted lines. So I'm going to turn this over and just fold it up to where that dot is and turn it over and fold where the dot is. Okay, then we're going to fold it in half and then glue the two tabs together and then she'll sit up. That's all you have to do to make the little characters for the Goldilocks story. Now, if you remember, I left Goldilocks in the living room on Baby Bear's chair when it was all splintered. If you remember the rest of the story, Goldilocks goes upstairs and finds three beds, and she falls asleep. The Bear family comes home and finds her there, and she jumps out of the window and runs away. And so that's our Goldilocks story. Now, lots of writers like to twist the Goldilocks story up. If you look behind me, I have some of the Goldilocks stories that we have here at the library, one that where Goldilocks encounters dinosaurs or where she only sees one bear. So these are some twisted stories that you might enjoy. Now, boys and girls, remember to come to the Fayette County Public Library and get your packet so you can make your own 3D chair and your little bears. Now, next week, we're going to make trolls. So you're going to need to have a cardboard tube, and we are going to make these little guys next week. So get your tubes and be ready to see me next Wednesday at 2 o'clock. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Miss Lisa with the Crafty Corner.